Hello and welcome back to the channel. So generally, we are all aware that the scheduling of your diversity visa interview is directly connected to the performance of your embassy. In case your embassy is performing well, then you have better prospects of your diversity visa interview being conducted. But in case you are assigned to an embassy that is not performing well, then your chances of being scheduled for interview are not as good. So because of that, generally when applicants ask the question why they have not yet been scheduled for interview, we tend to refer them to the performance of their embassy. But there is another aspect of this question. Some applicants have asked this question and in addition, they have specified that there are other cases assigned at the same embassy where they are assigned that have been scheduled for interview, whereas they have not been scheduled for interview. And in most cases, those other cases have higher case numbers than the case of the applicant that is asking this question. So if we should say this another way, here are two cases assigned at the same embassy. The one with the higher case number has been scheduled for interview. The one with the lower case number has not been scheduled for interview. And so the applicant with the lower case number is asking why that happened. So that is what I will be responding to in this video. Welcome back. So in this context, we cannot talk about the performance of the embassy because both of the cases concerned are assigned at the same embassy. So what are the factors or what are the reasons why this happens? And there are a couple of reasons for that, which we are going to consider beginning with this first reason. The first reason why that could happen is the date of submission of your DS-260. It is true that you may have a case number that is lower than the case number of another case. But in case that other case submitted their DS-260 ahead of you, it puts them ahead of you in the application process. And if at the end of the application process, that other case happens to enter the embassy queue ahead of your case, that other case, although it has a higher case number, will be scheduled for interview before your case. So that's the first reason why that happens. The second reason why that happens could be because of the length of time that it took for your DS-260 or DS-260s to be processed. There are different reasons why the DS-260 of one case could be delayed when it comes to processing as compared to another case. Now, let us say two cases. There is one that has only one applicant who does not have much information contained in his DS-260. And then there is your case that perhaps has five applicants. Obviously, the case that has only one applicant with not much information in his DS-260 will take a shorter time to process than your case where there are as many as five applicants. So the number of applicants in the case could be a reason why the processing of that case takes longer than the processing of another case. Another thing that could cause delays in the processing of your DS-260 and result in a case being ahead of you in the diversity visa application process could be information contained in your DS-260 relating to your education or work experience, even your travel history. These are all things that could delay the processing of your DS-260 and put another case ahead of you. You could submit your DS-260 
Right after the diversity visa lottery results are released in May, another applicant submits their DS-260, say in June, but it takes several months for yours to be processed because of what is contained in your DS-260, whereas for the other applicant, there's not much information in his or her DS-260, and it takes a shorter time for their DS-260 to be processed. So that could put that applicant ahead of you in the diversity visa application process. Another thing could be when your case entered your embassy queue, and that is the ultimate factor. You could have a lower case number than another case. You may have submitted your DS-260 ahead of that other case. But if at the end of processing, that other case happens to enter the embassy queue ahead of your case, ultimately, that other case will be scheduled for interview ahead of your case. So to summarize, having two cases that are not assigned at the same embassy, the difference in the scheduling of their respective interviews will be the performance of their embassy. But in case both cases are assigned at the same embassy, in which case there is a single embassy performance to consider, then you have to look beyond the performance of the embassy to other factors like, as I said, the date of submission of the DS-260 in each case, how long it took or it will take for each case to be processed, and ultimately, when did each case enter that embassy queue. So those are the factors that come into play when two cases are assigned at the same embassy, but it seems that there is some irregularity concerning the scheduling of their respective interviews. That is something that you need to know in addition to the issue of embassy performance. Now, don't forget, my diversity visa guidance program continues in case you are in need of guidance for any aspect of your diversity visa application, then click on the link that is just below this video and for a reasonable monthly subscription fee, join my diversity visa guidance program. And I will see you, God willing, inside. Until the next video, goodbye.